So what exactly is beta amyloid? It's a protein fragment produced in the body, especially in the brain. Think of it as a byproduct when a larger protein, APP, gets sniffed by enzymes. Now where is beta amyloid made? Predominantly in the brain, but also in other tissues like the heart and blood vessels. This widespread presence hints at its important roles. Speaking of roles, beta amyloid is a bit of a multitasker. In the brain, it helps with cell signaling and synaptic function. In an excellent review, open access article by Dr. Mehdi Mirzai, he and his colleagues pointed out that amyloid beta has physiological roles involved in many diseases, not just Alzheimer's disease. I quote, the aggregation of amyloid beta peptide and tau, protein dysregulation, are implicated to play key roles in Alzheimer's disease. Physiologically, these two proteins are produced and expressed within the normal human body. However, under pathological conditions, abnormal expression, post-translational modifications, conformational changes in truncation, can make these proteins prone to aggregation, triggering specific disease-related cascades. Recent studies have indicated associations between aberrant behavior of amyloid beta and TAU proteins in various neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, as well as retinal neurodegenerative diseases like glaucoma and age-related macular degeneration. Additionally, these proteins have been linked to cardiovascular disease, cancer, traumatic brain injury, and diabetes, which are all leading causes of morbidity and mortality. What does this mean? Simply that amyloid beta and tau tangles result from a very aggressive response of the immune system fighting various pathologies trying to save our lives. However, in these mentioned conditions, the immune system is working much harder than it can clean up the mess from the battle. This is why we see these aggregates in the brain. Why is it found throughout the body? Well, it's involved in various cellular processes and interacts with other molecules like metals and immune system components. Beta amyloid isn't just a villain, it's a key player in our biology. Understanding it better could unlock new avenues for treating diseases. Stay curious.